What you guys got another video here for you on how to fix bent pins on a CPU. So if you have a CPU just like this one, which has some bent pins on here, as you can see, I'm going to show you how to straighten these up and how to get this to fit back into the socket of your motherboard. Now this is an AMD processor, it's a Ryzen 3 3100. This was uh, sent out to someone when they bought the computer and they damaged the pins. I'm not sure what they did but they damaged the pins and blew a lot of the components up on the computer. So you can see the damaged pins on the side here along two or three rows. There's a bunch of pins that are all bent crossing each other. And on the other side, there's some as well. You can see in there. It's very difficult to see. They're very, very fine. The pins on these, you can see them along there as well. So I need to straighten these to get them to fit into the socket. And there's quite a few ways of going about this. There's no, exact science when it comes to straightening pins you can sometimes straighten them very easily sometimes you start to straighten them and they will suddenly just snap so you've got to be very very careful now i've got a straight edge here for this piece of metal here you can use a razor blade if you wish but this is blunt so you're not going to cut yourself so I use something like this to try to lever it back you can use small screwdrivers like the uh watchmaker screwdrivers they're really small ones they're easier to use just to pry back i don't have any of those to hand but i just wanted to show you a screwdriver there so you get an idea i do use these quite a bit these are sort of plastic razor blades they're not sharp they're just made of plastic they're quite rigid and they just allow you to go down the channels of the pins to try and straighten them so the way this would work is basically you would push this down the channels here to straighten the pins out now what i generally do is try to straighten the pins first and then i'll run this plastic uh, blade type thing down the channel to try to straighten them out and lever them over and uh, it's pretty straightforward and easy to do but you just got to take your time and don't rush it it can take either 10 minutes to do this job or it can take an hour or longer i also use these uh, tweezers to try and straighten the pins out as well and these are really thin type pe uh, tweezers to grab the pin and just slightly bend it. You want to grab it at the bottom if possible and not at the top, but just take your time with it. Now, for me, another essential bit of kit is these uh, magnifying uh, glasses. Basically, you've got the lens on here, super magnified, and it does have a light on here as well, which you can turn on. Uh, there's two settings on here, and this does help to be able to see uh, the pins very very close up without having to have a, an expensive magnifying uh, glass or setup you can actually do it with these on and you get other lenses in the kit as well and these are pretty affordable i'll leave a link in the video description so if you're doing any sort of tiny uh, projects or really small uh, painting figures and things like that these glasses are really essential they really do let you get close up and uh, you can see here we've got the tweezers out. What I'm going to do is try to straighten these pins a little bit. Now, you can use whatever method you like to use. Whatever's successful for you, use your own methods. Uh, but, you know, basically you do need to have either something really small to get between the two pins and just to prise on them and straighten them up a little bit. And uh, just take your time. It does take a fair bit of time to get these straight. So whatever method you want to use, you can use yours. And then once you've got them reasonably straight, you can get your little plastic uh, tool here to go through the middle of the pins here and try to straighten them up. Now, this is a long process and does take a fair bit of time, but you just have to be patient and just pry away at one pin at a time until you get them straight. It does take a bit of time, but you can also snap the pins off. So you've got to be very, very careful here not to break the pins now these pins are super fine and super small and that's because it's a Ryzen 3 3100 and it's the amount of pins on the chip itself so they've made them super fine so you just have to be very very careful and just pry away at one pin at a time until you get them straight and they don't have to be 100% perfect because we can use the socket to try and uh, straighten the rest of these once we get it to a certain level of straightness Obviously, you can't have them folding over each other like they look like here because that means it's not going to fit into the socket. You just need to pry those apart or turn them without snapping the pins itself. Now, my camera lens won't zoom in super close because I don't have that particular type of lens to be able to focus 
at a really close quarters. It's just not that type of lens. So this is about as close as I can get without it making it blurry. So but you can just generally see me prying away here. So how did these pins get bent in the first place? Well, the person that's obviously bought the PC that was in full working order, brand new computer components in there, has decided to take the chip out of the motherboard. And of course, obviously either dropped the chip or they forced it in the wrong way for some reason and then put loads of compound all over the CPU and it was in the socket and also all over the pins. So I'm not sure what they've done, but that's how it's got bent. So I've got my red razor blade tool here or the plastic razor blade tool here in the pins now all the way through. I've managed to squeeze them all the way through, whereas before I couldn't do this. And the reason why is because they were so bent. But now I've managed to be able to straighten these up enough to be able to push this through that first lane here. And what that does is, is it allows them to straighten up and I can just get my tweezers or a little small screwdriver, depending on what you want to use, and just pry these and make them a little bit straighter and guarding it against the plastic here so they don't snap. So, yeah. That's basically what I do, and I go along each lane until I've got them all nice and straight. So I'm going on the second lane here now and make sure that's nice and straight, and it goes through. And if the blade goes all the way through, that means you've got them straight enough to fit into the socket. So basically, you have to copy this routine all the way around to make sure all of the pins are straight. And uh, that's basically... How you can straighten the pins up here you can see it's working all the way around now i'm getting this blade all the way through and the pins look relatively straight so that should now resolve this problem it does need a bit of a clean i can see a bit of compound still on the pins itself i've cleaned it before but there's still quite a bit of compound on there so i'm going to put it onto some tissue paper here and get some isopropanol alcohol and uh, just spray it all over the bottom of this uh pins here to hopefully to try and uh, degrade the uh, compound on there and let this uh, dry out and try to clean some of the sides here but oh, that should be okay and hopefully we'll let that dry off it should dry pretty quickly because it's 100 percent alcohol and uh, we'll clean this up a little bit so it's already looking a lot cleaner i'll just clean the sides here and then we can then put this back into the socket We'll let it thoroughly dry and then we can uh, give it a test to see whether we get post on this chip or whether it's completely damaged i don't know we'll just have to test it so i'm just going to clean some of this gunk off the side here and the reason why we want to do this is because we don't want any compound on the pins uh, at all we don't want to push all that into the uh, socket so i just want to make sure we've got this as clean as possible now you could use uh, an ultrasonic cleaner here to drop this into an ultrasonic cleaner and clean it that way um, but yeah that looks clean enough now apart from the sides need a bit more work but i'll clean the rest of this up and we can then drop this into the socket you can see here it looks pretty good the pins look straight enough to fit in a socket so we'll give this a test and we'll see if we get post on it and see if we've saved this chip to be able to put this into a cheap budget build I'm going to clean this up a little bit more later on. Let's just get the motherboard out and give this a test. So I'm going to pull the lever back here and see if we can get it into the uh, socket here. So you want to make sure that you take this part carefully. You don't just go forcing it in because there might be the odd pin that's just slightly out of alignment and you might need to just wiggle it in a little bit to be able to get it into the socket. Once we get that into the socket, we can then pull that lever down. But you don't want to be forcing that lever down uh, too soon because you don't want to uh, bend the pins anymore. So you can see it's slightly having a bit of trouble on one corner here. I'm just going to take a little close look, hold it down with my hand, and then push it down. And then hopefully that straightens those pins up. So we've got that in there. Let's get all the parts together and test bench this to see whether we get post here. So we do have... The PC powering on, which is a good sign. And lo and behold, we have post, which is a good sign for that processor. So everything has worked out pretty well for this little CPU. 
and hopefully we can put this back into some sort of budget build now the pc is working perfectly fine that doesn't necessarily mean that i would then sell this pc to someone with that cpu in it without telling them uh, you would obviously have to be full disclosure and say that the pins were bent and you straightened them there will be people that would sell that on ebay without even consider telling someone that they had bent pins on that cpu they have been compromised because they have been bent so you have weakened those pins a little bit but hopefully you could still be able to use this pc in some way shape or form anyway but that said that's basically how you can straighten up some bent pins on your cpu my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope you enjoyed this sort of content uh, thanks again to all the youtubers who join my youtube members group have a great day bye for now